Hi, Soup here. Today uh, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Elite Dangerous. I purchased it last week. It looks pretty cool and I've always been into space games. Um, I've only played it for about a half hour doing tutorials. I don't know much about the game. I have watched some videos on combat but not really much to learn from. Uh, in general I play games and flight games really. Space shooters and all that stuff. So I kind of know what I'm doing but it's an Elite not a single bit so we're gonna fail together um, I've left the starting station traveled to this Boswell platform and what looks like the LTT 18486 system I have no idea where that is but uh, my plan is to pick up some contracts hopefully some I can run and uh, just go see what's out there maybe explore and just get some credits so gonna look for some contracts and all of them are un unobtainable, so that's fantastic. So, this platform is probably useless to me. So it's time to launch, I guess, and go to a new one. Um, I'm still not uh, practiced with the controls. You actually have to look to the left and right, which is something I didn't know to open up these menus, which is pretty cool. I'm harmless and penniless, nameless. It's pretty great. Um, I don't. Sh I shouldn't have any cargo right now. Yeah, I just have the basic starting ship with two pulse lasers and a basic discovery scanner. And yeah. So I am going to look at the galaxy map because I'm not really sure if there's much to do in this system. In fact, I don't even know what all these lines mean. Or any of this, or what's a good system. Um, uh, just reading the descriptions of the uh, stars up here on the left. Uh, indus refinery and industrial is probably some good places to trade here. So I'm going to plot a route. Apparently, going to be quite a few jumps to get there. Fortunately, I thought I could jump straight there, but apparently not. This industrial and agriculture. I'll go up here actually because it's closer. It's only two jumps away, and I'm pretty lazy. So now that I've got, I think I ah, now you go here. Oh, I've got it locked. Okay, good. So now I have to do as launch and undock and go to the system and look around. And so a little bit about me. I'm currently in college. I'm an applied physics major and a math major. I'm double majoring. And so all space games, all sci-fi, really, I enjoy it quite a bit. And unfortunately, I critique it all way too much because I know too much about everything. Oh, I gotta remember my controls. Okay. So I know a lot about space and generally about the physics behind it and as much as what I've seen this is a it's a great game for flying and all that but it's really just airplanes in space and I really debated uh, going into this but it bothers me that the yaw is set like this so you can't fully yaw but the pitch is way easier along with the roll it happens super quick this shouldn't happen, and if anything, yaw should be stronger in a real spacecraft, but it makes the gameplay what it is. Uh oh. It's interesting. I have to see. I might have some technical difficulties here. We'll see once if I can yaw all the way to the left. Oh, uh, nope. It's only during that. Okay. And so you always pop out near a star, which is kind of hairy because you can just burn up really easily in that. So I don't think I have any information about this, so I'm just going to slow down, use my discovery discovery scanner, and see what the star is all about. And I don't know if I'm going to get information on the system itself. I'm really not even sure how to check. But uh, I am just going to get ready and go to Ev Everett. Error? Error of it, which is where I set my original destination. 
So I'm going to charge my frame shift drive again and head over there. And hopefully no one interdicts me because anyone can come in and kill you at any point. Which is a little scary, but pretty cool in my opinion. I have a feeling I might do something along those lines once I learn more about the game and get a little better. And you can see on my HUD my heat is at 92% and that's from being so close to that star. It's dangerous. My first ship I landed too close and actually burnt up. Which was not bueno at all. Something's telling me to slow down, but I don't really care. I'm just going to go half the speed of light, which is just an absurd speed in reality. Alright, so it ah, looks like I do have the map for this system, which is nice. Uh, let's see, we got it. Just a bunch of stations, it seems like. A couple markets, cities. I'm going to go... Commodities, outfitting shipyard. This looks like a good place to go, the market, because it's got shipyard and outfitting. I, just, cause I still have only the basic equipment, but it's also seems like what would be a good market, so we'll go there. Um, so go there, and now we have to find it in navigation. It's the Ackerman Market, I believe. Maybe it's behind me. Yes, it is. Okay. So now we're really flying. Going 15 times the speed of light, which I would just love to be able to do in real life. Too cool. Unfortunately. It's just sci-fi. No, it's telling me to slow down. Uh, I generally don't like things telling me how to fly, so I'm going to try and fly in my own way. And hopefully, it's not a bad way to do things. Looks like we're coming down from on top of it relative to the, uh, the plane of the solar system. So there are a couple ways of uh, flying in Elite, well really only two. I have flight assist on right now, but apparently you could turn flight assist off. Which would turn off, um, whenever I rotate it automatically stops. And apparently it also helps your guns aim. That's another ship right there that, what looked like a comet, but they just fell out of, I think it's warp? I, I don't know. Maybe it's still the, sh the frame shift drive? I'm not sure. Maybe if I jump out now, it'll just spit me right out in front of it. Or maybe I'll be 400 kilometers away, which would suck because... Nope, it suits me out right in front of it. Perfect. Alright. So I'm putting all my power into engines right now, just because I am definitely impatient. And so now, got a contact station. Oh, there's a, a freighter around here. Docking request granted. Excellent. In some of the videos I've watched, they don't exactly give you uh, docking requests every time. And you can get denied, which would kind of be a bummer. I'm trying to remember uh, controls right now, but I think I got them.
Oh, well. All right. <laughs> Perfect. It's not letting me go backwards, which sucks. I wonder if I'm just gonna die here. It's it's likely. I can't go it. I can only roll. I, I appears as though I'm stuck. Maybe if I go up a little, am I on these rings? Oh oh. All right, I got out. Okay, cool. Full reverse. Excellent. Oh, there's... I think that's new. I don't remember those being there from the, uh... You know, my first 20 minutes playing, but... I've been wrong before. So... <laughs> Good to know those are there for... For future landing attempts. And if any of you are veterans of playing Elite, I'm sure you're all laughing at me and enjoy it. I laugh at myself a lot, too. Alright, we're in. I I think eventually I will switch to flight assist off because I like more hands-on control even though it may be more difficult. Oh. That wasn't too good. F flew right over. The landing pad, where was it? Oh, I really wish... Is there no HUD icon? It was right over here somewhere. Twenty-three... Four, there it is. Okay. Alright. Surprisingly made it without making any damage, even though we got stuck on the station. Alright, let's go to the bulletin board. Are there any contracts for me? Help free the minds of people in invisible chains. A delivery. Uh, perhaps. We'll see what the other one is first. This one pays a little bit better. Over four times as much. Oh, they, these guys need some synthetic fi fabrics. I wonder if there's any here at the market. Uh, good what would that be under? Legal drugs? Machinery? Medicines? Do they have a search? I'm not sure. I don't see synthetic fabrics anywhere. That's probably why that contract pays so much. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Uh, just because it's easy. Cool. I don't even need any hold space. I could probably do that one too. Um, I probably should have checked where I had to take that. Not really sure. Uh, let's see. And this is maps for exploring. Uh, so I do have a map on the system that I, I was originally in, but I have to go quite some distance away and I don't think I'm ready to go so far. Uh, let's cancel. Exit. Wonder. Transactions. There we go. Deliver to United King Coalition at the Levamont in the Yukabugai system. I have 40 minutes left, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, Yukabugai. Oh, here it is. Um, let's plot it. Which station was that? It was the Levam. I believe it was the city. Can I... No, I can't. Not yet, not till I'm there. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Alright, well, I don't think... Ah, I'll refuel and top off just in case. Any munitions? No. Don't even know how to... Ah, there it is. Fuel all. 37 credits. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh. Apparently, I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. They just turned me around. That was nice of them. Alright, let's get out of here. 
There's a lot of ships going on up here. Oh! I hit a wrong button. Okay. Whoa! Looks like someone got blown up in here. Bummer for them. And this guy's trying to dock. Looks like maybe having better time than I was. Alright. Gotta get far enough away from the station. Ah, uh, cause you can see we're still mass locked and we can't jump yet. Alright. Okay, so... In reality, 3.4 light years is a pretty long distance. I'm sure most of you know what a light year is. It's the distance light travels in one year. And, uh... As far as modern science knows, there's no possible way to break that rule. It's the single greatest rule in uh, modern physics. That light speed is the speed limit of the universe. And light in a vacuum, of course. Um, the reason right light reflat refracts in glass is because light actually changes speed as it goes through different mediums. Oh, new object discovered. I wonder... Oh, going a little fast. At least in comparison. Oh yeah, I'm going third at speed of light. Alright. Since I'm just traveling through, may as well just go and fly straight to Yakabugi. Oh, we got heat problems. I'm overheating. wonder what makes uh, charging happen faster. Four, Maybe no, we overheated. Two, one, engage. But, uh, so, recently there's been a lot of uh, publicity on the Al Alcubierre drive, and uh, while it's nice in theory, and it is possible, it, as far as we can tell, we're not uh, capable of of making that yet because it requires either negative energy or negative mass, and that is the impossible part. Well, not impossible, but it's we have no clue how to make it or if it is possible to make uh, matter like that. Okay, so let's see, Levy Montalene City. Block destination. Yep, that's where we wanted to go. Looks like it's behind us. Alright. Gonna get up and above the galactic plane. Just so I can come down on top of it. In case the station's on the other side of the, the planet. Because the uh, warp drive in this, in this game, Elite, depends on your distance or proximity to massive objects such as stars or planets. And you go faster the farther you are away from them. And this is due to some techno babble, I'm sure, where the uh, the mass... Oh, I'm coming in way too fast, so let's see what happens here. Alright. Well, completely overshot it, but... Uh, I believe... The uh, the reasoning for the mass lowering the speed of your warp drive is the gravitational field interferes with the uh, warp drive itself. So, oh, passed right by it again. Hopefully, I'm closer this time. And in reality, this. This could be uh, a real phenomenon. We we don't know. It's all theoretical. The uh, the Alci Bear Drive. It it relies on the theory that although objects moving through space time are limited by the speed of light, uh, space time itself can expand or contract or move with within itself at any speed and. The thinking is, is if you're actually just moving space-time itself, 
instead of flying through it or moving through it as, as we do every day, you could move at faster than light speeds. And it's, it's an interesting theory. And personally, it would be great if we could figure out how to harness uh, negative energy or mass because a lot of things would come from that, including easier access to space. But there are dangers involved with... Uh, Oh, this is just an outpost. We can just land on the top here. There are dangers involved with going warp. For example, I've I've seen that um, leaving from the warp bubble from the drive, you would uh, emit a ton of of gamma radiation. Okay, let's request landing and spray everything in front of you with intense gamma radiation, which is not good for anyone. So generally, you'd want to leave warp away from, like, if you're going to, to Earth back from Jupiter or something, you would want to leave warp far, far away from Earth because if you showered everyone with gamma radi radiation, I don't think a lot of people would be happy. So I'm trying to go down right now. I think I I messed up my my controls. I'll have to check them after. Because it only worked once the landing gear was down. All right, we landed. Let's turn in that contract and uh, deliver message. Give message. Cool, my first payday. Got one percent influence with the independent free of Everett. All right, well, I'm sorry it's a little boring. I'm still getting the hang of this. Just trying to get some money together so that I can buy some weapons and learn to start shooting things. In fact, my, it's my next mission if I can find one. Probably take... I'd like to take this one. I don't think I can do it, but I'm gonna try. May as well. It's a lot of money. Alright, well, I, I'm gonna take this and do this mission in another video because it pays a hell of a lot for what I have and it'll be exciting. So uh, that's it for now. I'm Soup. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe learned something. Uh, I'm sure I'll get better at explaining it all in time. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.